So, we're going to show you how to do a strength test on an egg to find the uh, strongest axis on it, to find the weak spots on it. So first you're going to want to take your egg, and you're going to want to inspect it, because uh, any of the events, you've got to make sure that you inspect your own egg. If it has a crack or a flaw in it, it's up to you to find it. They're not going to find it for you, and I guarantee there will be flaws in some of the eggs. So you need to check properly, make sure that there's no weak spots. Oh, like on this one, there are cracks right there in the egg, if you can see them. You don't want that. If you have that, that's going to be a weak spot and potentially break your egg when it shouldn't. So I'm going to grab a different egg. Check that it's got no weak spots whatsoever. And this one looks pretty good. Okay, so there are essentially two axes on the egg. You've got this axis here, and you've got this axis here. All right, One of them is stronger than the other. The best way, just to get a quick example of which one is which, is to put it in your palms and press against one of the axes. Now, I can already tell you that this direction, that way, is going to be stronger on an egg than that way. All right? So, put it in between your palms. Make sure not to press your fingers on the edge here. Keep your fingers out of the way. Only use your palms. And you can press as hard as you want. Most people will not be able to break the egg no matter how hard they press. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. However, if you take that same egg and you put it between your palms and you press on the weak axis, it will break. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so why this was important. Um, in any one of the uh, egg events, you want to make sure that you have that stronger axis that I just showed you be what's taking any impact that the egg may take. Um, for example, if you have egg drop, you don't want to drop your egg this way. You want to drop it this way. All right? That way, any impact that the egg does have to take is on the stronger axis, and you're less likely to break it. Um, on ones for a uh, bottle rocket, for instance, you want to have the stronger axis be what impacts the ground as well. Okay? Uh, if you want to test this at home, this whole testing the stronger axis, you can easily make an apron for yourself out of a trash bag. I highly recommend doing it because egg will fly when you crack them.